Doug, I know you run a small outfit <laughs> called Walmart, and uh, I want to tell you something. I, I, I don't remember when you all, it's not a question, but I'm just curious, uh, when you became the largest food retailer in the country. Um, uh, and, uh, but uh, I spent more time walking through the aisles of Walmart than I want to admit over my uh, because there's one right down the street from where I live in Delaware. Anyway, how are things looking for you this holiday season, Doug, and, uh, um, and across both retail and the grocery side? Walmart has been working closely with my team to clear bottlenecks, and I really appreciate the help in the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach. Have you seen any progress in the ability of the company I hear is to get boxes off the docks faster, get product from from the docks to your shelves and said, can you talk to me a little bit about that? Yes, sir, I can. Thank you for the question and thank you for your partnership and thanks for shopping in our stores. <laughs> um, I'd like to take the opportunity to also thank our associates because they're doing an outstanding job and, and have been through this whole period and that continues up until this moment. Um, we think we're gonna have a really good holiday season. We shared our earnings results a couple weeks ago and we told everybody that and we shared that our inventory levels are up more than 10 percent so while we're all concerned about the supply chain we have more inventory than we did a year ago and have the inventory that we need to be able to support the business um, we are seeing progress the port and transit delays are improving as you and i discussed not long ago about two-thirds of what we sell in the united states is made or grown here that other third has a meaningful portion coming from canada and mexico which is helpful for the part that comes outside of north america the port issue has been a big issue but we've really seen a lot of improvement. Um, because of what you all did to help with overnight hours and because of the team's work to reroute um, to other ports, to extend our lead times and have other creative solutions, we've seen an increase in throughput over the last four weeks, of about 26% nationally in terms of getting containers through ports. And in the Southern California ports in particular, where you've been really focused um, we've seen a 51% improvement in that flow through. And that's helped a lot as it relates to categories like toys, which are so important for Christmas. So we'll keep working to make sure that we're in a, in a good in stock position as we go all the way through the season. We do expect it to be strong, and there are a few items as there are every year with the hottest toys or things in electronics that we wish we had more of. But generally speaking, we're in good shape and really appreciate partnership. Well, thank you. You've been really, really cooperative. I can't tell you how much we appreciate it. And uh, I was, uh, I was really uh, pleased, quite frankly, and um, proud of the cooperation you saw between business and labor in the ports in Southern California. It, uh, it, it, it made me feel good. They, you know, you, you were there. It didn't take much to convince them that we should move, go 24/7 seven days a week and uh, anyway thank you for being it takes all of us it sure that does